Hello. This is a video I'm making to answer a question that someone had for me, and I figured maybe more people had the same question. But it's about a riff at the end of the track of Subsume that starts, that the title starts with, A Weather Front Was Stalled Out in the Pacific. It's this riff. I'll play the whole riff and then I'll kind of break it out so you can see what's going on. that one. Um, and I think the confusion is just what exactly are the guitars playing? Um, which is understandable. I'll show you how many tracks there are going on. And there's a lot of like harmonies and harmonies of harmonies. So this top one is a bass track, the bass track. Um, these two pink ones are rectifier left, rectifier right. And that's just a doubling of the main riff. The next one is JCM 800 left and right, which is um, doubled, but also a double of this. So these were the all four of these the rectifier left, right, JCM 800 left, right, were recorded separately. So um, I didn't like reamp or anything. I just recorded them over again. So then the next pink one is a um, left and right harmony of these four tracks that comprise the main riff. And the harmony of these two tracks is slightly different. And then these, the bottom dark purple track is um, that the pink, both pinks are recto rectifier, both purple are JCM 800. Um, so these bottom two are a du uh, doubling, but also a harmony of this harmony. So like these four harmony tracks kind of modify these four like main riff tracks. Down below here, there's four tracks, you know, a left and right of the same audio, not audio, but like the same, um, it's not a riff, but it's just me playing a chord through a uh, electro harmonics freeze pedal and the, there's a left and right version of that so separate takes these two are the same one these two down here are left and right of a harmony of that so there's lots of harmonies going on um and when i break it all out you'll see why it's pretty convoluted but it makes up like a big um almost kind of synthy sounding when you play it all together. So here are the, just the left and right rectifier tracks. Obviously there's some, um, a lot of distortion and uh, an octave pedal on these. I think there's an octave pedal on everything, all the riff tracks, not the, um, the ambient tracks, which is usually what I like to do. So rectifier, and then this JCM 800 is the same thing as that, just with a different amp. And also when I'm hitting that open A, I guess it was, uh, I'm hitting the electro harmonics freeze pedal to kind of carry that out. So you get that kind of like wah kind of thing. So here's all these together. So you can see that when that, I mean, even though it's distorted, when that note is held out with the freeze pedal, you get kind of like a, like an unnatural, um, not resonance, but like the note carries out longer with the same intensity as when it's initially struck, which is a cool effect. Now we get into the harmony tracks. So this is the left rectifier harmony. So 
So it's the like octave of the A. And then here's the right one. So you can see between the two of these, they make, they're similar, but some of the notes kind of flop around between one and two, and they make this kind of, the sum sounds like this. So again, here's the left. Here's the right. Here are the JCM 800 harmonies. Here's the left. So that one's, um, you know, it's got like the harmonies in the, a little higher, like note wise, but then it brings in the like low, uh, the, the low A. Here's the right one. And here's the two of the JCM 800 harmony tracks together. Kind of cool. Here's all the harmony tracks together. And then here's the, so here's the, just the main riff again. And I just thought it sounded, it, it could use, like I, I use the harmonies to just kind of make it more interesting, I guess. And, um, you know, add that character to it. So here's all of them together. Cool. And then I'll show you the bass, which is basically just matching the kick. Got it. So now the heart, the uh, ambient tracks. Here's the left. Um, this is going to be, I, get, I think, the low, um, like the low electro harmonics freeze track. Lower. I like that. I usually make the ambient tracks like in the more of the upper register of the guitar, just to fill in. You know, the the riffs take care of the lower end. I think that makes sense. And then these two are just doubled. So um, you hear a little bit of a delay. I, I use the um, MXR analog delay. That's pretty much my go-to. And when I rec even though you can see that these are like I punched in for this, I'm playing whatever was back here into it, and then right there. Uh, when it punches in, I'm hitting the uh, freeze pedal. So you get a little bit of the analog, like delay decay. Um, but by the time you get down to here, it disappears. And I just do that to kind of smooth the transition between these cuts. So you don't quite notice them as much, maybe. So here's these two. Same thing's going on down here, left and right, just a little bit higher. And even though the freeze pedal, like, it just captures what's going on, when you run it, you know, it's capturing the dry signal before it goes into the distortion, so you get, I don't know if it's like a phase thing or what. Um, I don't know how that pedal really works, but you can see the waveform, like as it goes down here, like you really do get some, I guess, character to it, which is really cool. So it's almost kind of like a, uh, like an organ kind of sound. 
So here's the all the freeze pedals together. And that's going on underneath. I'll just play the freeze pedal parts with the main riff. And then here's everything all together. Cool. And then down here, it's just more of that freeze pedal, I think. Or maybe I didn't use it. I don't see any automation on it. So I guess I just decided not to use it. I don't know why, but it's down there. So I guess, yeah, so these are just it, I guess. I don't think anything else happens. I think it just fades out from there. So that's that.